Baltimore is a city that loves to eat. From fried crab cakes to burger cookies, pit beef to Utz potato chips, we're a city of eaters and our ever-expanding waistlines reflect that fact quite well. As we grow fatter and fatter, more and more people are offering solutions to make us thinner and possibly healthier too. Because there's no doubt the added poundage is making us unhealthy. Four of the top 10 killers in America are chronic diseases linked to diet, and approximately one-third of all Americans are overweight or obese. We, three food-loving students, decided to investigate. Throughout our nation, different pockets of people interested in changing the way Americans eat have been working to alter our perception of our food. With farmers markets, community-supported agriculture, and slow food societies, Factions of Americans are mounting a food revolution. How can shoppers make sure the product that they're getting here is good and regulated? Okay, well I think people tend to ask questions. People like to be informed and I think um, they ask questions about uh, use of pesticides and where it comes from, whether it's greenhouse grown, whether it's fresh outside or things like this nature. So people that shop here, I find, uh, tend to ask lots of great questions about where the origin of the food. American farmers have never been more productive. Thanks to subsidies that have been in place since World War II, our nation churns out enough to provide us with plenty of food, fuel, and feed grain. Food subsidies have allowed large American farmers to grow more food for less money. However, these subsidies mainly go toward three main crops, corn, soybeans, and wheat. Incidentally, these plants are the three main ingredients in most processed foods, including our beloved burger cookie, the same foods that are making Americans fat. However, Eating a diet heavy in processed food is not the only option. Throughout the city of Baltimore and the country as a whole, access to farm fresh food is starting to become readily available. And why do you think they come here rather than going to the supermarket? To the farmer's market or to me? Yeah. Come, yes, to the farmer's market. Well, the, the farmer's market always have fresh vegetables and fruit. And um, most, of, most of the fresh vegetables and fruits are organic, especially in the city, Second Street Farmer's Market, Baltimore, Maryland. You find some of the freshest fruits and vegetables, and they're mostly organic. So they come especially for that purpose and to, of course, pick up the ginger product, which is uh, the best ginger product in the world. Natural foods are important. No preservatives and chemicals. Um, price is important. Freshness. We see right now a tremendous interest and a grassroots upswelling of energy and really demand for this and I think it is going to happen. However, as we spoke to people we started to realize that there are a few things stopping people from eating health fully. First, cost is an issue. Because the reason that healthy food costs more than junk food is by and large because we subsidize junk food and we don't subsidize healthy food. In some cases there is you know, a little bit of an increase in price when you purchase locally and it does take a little more of your time. Sometimes the farmers markets are not exactly located in front of the grocery store and you gotta go a little out of your way. But the benefits of buying local, you know, we feel and what we try to promote to the consuming public outweigh those issues that you have to overcome. But if instead of subsidizing large industrial farms that use millions of gallons of fossil fuel each year, we chose to direct funding towards small farms with a variety of crops, farms could support local economies and communities and make their product more accessible. Second, for some, healthy food is hard to access. Well, for health, because so many people uh, don't have, um, they, they can't buy healthy food, and especially in the city, there's such a lack of it. So we try to keep our prices as low as possible so people can think of other ways to prepare vegetables and eat healthy. Food, good food, isn't available there. There's a variety of reasons for that. Um, but most of the people were not satisfied with that. This was not something that they choose. They've more or less been abandoned by the larger change and the larger grocery stores as not being a profitable place to open a store. This problem could be solved by funding urban garden projects through schools, churches, and parks, as well as granting tax breaks to people who grow their own food. Third, people are uninformed about their food. Schools need funding and programs to educate students about healthy eating. Scholarships in the sciences should be offered to students interested in becoming farmers. 
and perhaps some of the open space on the White House lawn could be converted into a vegetable garden. We accept that reforming our nation's food system will require time and money, but we consider it to be one of the most important issues facing our nation's health and security today. Can we be sustainable? Do we have a choice? We don't have a choice. Unsustainable means it won't last. We understand that you have many other important issues on your agenda, Mr. President. However, America's diet needs your immediate attention. Our nation's health and our waistline depend on it.